Does less mean more wins for Kansas football in 2019? Next on Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. All right, we're talking up the Rock Chuck Jayhawks here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football. Please uh, use the Amazon link in the description section below to help us build the channel. Many of you, of course, shop at Amazon. It's a rather successful place from what I understand. Please use the link in the description section below to help us build the channel. It doesn't cost you an extra penny, and you don't have to buy the product shown. And also, of course... Join us for our two exclusive live streams on Patreon at the Voice of College Football Community on Patreon.com, an exclusive live stream where I respond to your viewer comments directly and also where we bring you, the viewer, our community, on to talk college football with me once a week on a live stream. All right, let's talk Kansas football. Let's get to the schedule. It's number 36 in college football, number four in the Big 12, and this is why. Three non-conference games, of course, for the Jayhawks and the rest of the Big 12 as they play everyone in conference play, all nine other conference teams. So Kansas would theoretically have the toughest if we still believe that they're the worst of the Big 12, then they would have the toughest schedule because they don't get to play themselves and they've got to play everyone else. But basically everyone in the Big 12 has the same schedule. All right, non-conference first, August 31st against Indiana State, Coastal Carolina, the next game on September 7th. Uh, keep in mind that uh, Kansas has lost to FCS foes before, going all the way back to 2018 against Nichols State. So Indiana State and Coastal Carolina opened the Kansas 2019 schedule, and then they've got a date at Boston College, a nice little affair on September 13th. That's a Friday night, Kansas at Boston College, certainly an upgrade over the Kansas non-conference of Power 5 opponent the past two years, which has been Rutgers. The Jayhawks slapped around Rutgers last year, 42-13, to as uh, Rutgers has supplanted Kansas, at least uh, last year, as the worst of the Power 5 teams. All right. So after the non-conference slate is over, Kansas jumps into Big 12 play with a couple of uh, actually three very difficult games. West Virginia, TCU, and Oklahoma, uh, the Mountaineers and the Sooners come to Lawrence, but the Jayhawks have to travel to TCU. So that definitely represents a four-game stretch that is going to be very difficult for Les Miles' young Kansas Jayhawks at Boston College, West Virginia, at TCU and Oklahoma, very difficult. They will need the rest in the bye week and probably to look at a lot of game film and rest up after uh, probably getting banged up a little bit after that four-game stretch. So they've got the bye week on October 12th. Then they go to Texas. They've got Texas Tech and Kansas State coming in. Then they've got another bye week before they finish off with the three-game stretch. That is pretty difficult as well. In Oklahoma State on the road, Iowa State on the road, and then Baylor at home. So two difficult stretches that we I here would be the BC, West Virginia, TCU, Oklahoma stretch at the end of September going into October, and then the last three games of the season at Stillwater against the Cowboys, at Ames against the Cyclones, and Baylor at home. Kansas has the fourth most difficult schedule in the Big 12. They are finally taking on a decent Power 5 team in Boston College on the road, and it's the 36th ranked schedule in the country. Less miles at Kansas. It's a good fit. If you want our explanation of why in the interim, please look up the video on our channel. Just go to the search bar on the front page of our channel, look up Less Miles in Kansas, and you will see our take on Less Miles higher at Kansas. Four and eight for Les and the crew in 2019, two and seven in the Big 12. It's the 36th the most difficult schedule in college football. We'll be back with number 35. In the meantime, like, comment, share, and subscribe right here at Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football.